Hello YouTubers, this is Chris and this is uh, the CK Films Fanatics um, with my top 10 Blu-rays. Now, these are just the 10 in my collection that had the best picture and sound quality um, and extras, but they aren't ordered as which is the best and which is the uh, like least best out of the 10. They're just randomly thrown together as the ones that I like to watch the most. So these aren't um these aren't in order of best to least best. These are just randomly together. So just making that clear. So we got The Dark Knight 2 Disc Special Edition. I mean what can I say? It's my favourite film of all time. But the picture and sound quality on this film is amazing. Just it blows me away. I feel like I'm right in there fighting the Joker with Batman. Um, and it's loaded with special features including you've got the IMAX scenes and on Blu-ray they actually go into IMAX and you can see when it goes into IMAX and when it goes out of IMAX and that's really really cool as well I mean look at that look uh, try. look at that look look at the Joker's like weird laugh things going around there and the Joker's on the front cover, so I mean, come on. Everyone loves the Joker. Uh, and by the way, I'm shooting this video after just watching this next one. Terminator 2, Judgment Day, Skynet Edition Blu-ray. If you do not own this on Blu-ray, where have you been living? This film is is one of the best classic transfers for a film that I've seen on Blu-ray, this is just, it's like, whoa, shit, that was cool, and this is also, co coincident, co uh, can't even say the, I'm not even going to say the word, um, this is, uh, funny enough, uh, my second favourite film of all time as well, so, you know, it just kind of happened, James Cameron's Avatar, yes, that's right, we go from a James Cameron Terminator to a James Cameron Avatar, this is the extended Blu-ray collector's edition. Now, to be honest, this film is only good if you get the extended collector's edition Blu-ray because it's packed with special features, it's three discs of Blu-ray, uh, and, of course, the film's just great in Blu-ray. It was almost meant to be made for Blu-ray. Uh, and it's got, like, um, six, uh, 45 minutes of deleted scenes. This one, this next one, I was very surprised about the transfer. It was surprisingly very good. Uh, Batman, the 1989 one with Jack Nicholson and Michael Keaton. This one was surprisingly a very good transfer. And I really, really enjoyed watching it again. And I've been watching the um, Batman Motion Picture Anthology uh, over Sundays when I've got nothing to do and I'm bored. It's deathless. Um... That and I watched this, and it like made me wish that I was on Friday again so I could watch it Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. It was just amazingly good on Blu ray. So, if you haven't got Batman, I recommend Batman. Um, now, who hasn't got this in their collection? This is what you need to start off a Blu ray uh, collection Casino Royale, the deluxe edition. Not only it is amazingly good on Blu-ray. I mean, you can see every little tiny bit of detail. This collector's edition is packed with special features, like so much special features that you will die. And of course, the packaging is just amazingly cool. You know, you've got Daniel Craig on the front. Resident Evil Afterlife. This is the HMV exclusive steelbook. What can I say? I've already said this. I think before on my channel. Um. A lot of these scenes, uh, like some of the 3D scenes where it had big 3D moments, are better in HD than 3D. I mean, if you missed it, uh, missed it on 3D, I'd advise you trying to watch it in 3D. But if you can't, just get it as a normal Blu-ray. I mean, it was just amazingly good. Um, next up, The A-Team. Now, besides it being a very clever movie, it actually looks really nice, really nice in high definition. Um, and I 
enjoyed it really in high definition. Um, I just want to point something out because I haven't reviewed this. We might do a movie look on it. Um, this is weird as well. It's got uh, it's a triple play and it's got a Blu-ray disc, right? A DVD disc and then a digital copy disc. And I'll, I've used that disc for a digital copy already. Basically, once you've used it, it's a worthless disc. But you can't really get with uh, uh, with you can't really get rid of it because um because once you get rid of it, it just kind of becomes useless. So I don't know what to do, but uh might try and get as two disc um two disc case and then uh put those discs in it and put the backing in it and get rid of the digital copy disc because once once you use it, it's useless, pretty much. Um, Scott Pilgrim vs. The World. If you didn't see this in cinemas, buy it on Blu-ray. Watch it in high definition. It's great. Fun movie. That, not enough said. Batman Returns. Now, if you watch Batman, followed by this, your expectations just go through the roof. Because this is just as good... As Batman and they both have really dark aspects to them and yet they bring out the dark and make it bright it's pretty cool um, and finally some people say this isn't a very good transfer but I beg to differ I think it's a fairly good transfer for for the sort of film it is um, Ferris Bueller's Day Off I enjoyed this film and I think the transfer was fairly decent and for whatever the tran uh for whatever's bad about the transfer, the special features make make up for it because they're like kind of special features that I don't think was on the DVD or was on the DVD. Um, but anyway, the special features are just interesting to watch. So yeah. So let's just go on a recap. We got Ferris Bueller's Day Off, Batman Returns. Scott Pilgrim vs. The World, B.A. Barack, B.A. Barack, that A team, uh, uh, Resident Evil Afterlife, Casino Royale, Deluxe Edition, Batman, uh, Avatar, Terminator 2 Skynet Edition, The Dark Knight, and now I'm just gonna do this really quickly. Bye. 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 You won't regret buying any of these films on Blu-ray. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later with a movie look.